Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Shell Shock Live. This is a game that was, well let's talk about what it is first. It's a physics based, turn based, strategy slash annihilation deathmatch game. It's Worms in Tanks, which is another way of saying that it's basically Scorched Earth, which uh, I did play way back in the day. And a little bit like to uh, Pocket Tanks, which I haven't played, but people have told me that this is very, very similar. You drive your tank around, you try to destroy enemy tanks uh, in a worm-style turn-based format. It's been on Steam for a while, but uh, it recently exited Early Access, and I was introduced to it when uh, Nick kind of pinged me to play it on the show. And uh, on the show, I had some issues with it, but I was like, this game's got a good foundation. Played a little bit of the single player. I've played about two hours of it so far. And especially at seven fit well, it's seven bucks American, seven eighty Canadian or something like that. It's a ridiculously good value if you've got friends to play it with. If you're relying on matchmaking or just playing single player, you might find, you know, something else fits your bill a little bit better. But if you've got friends uh, that you can kind of match up with and play on an equal footing, I think you could have a really, really great time with Shellshock Live. But let's start out with some of the uh, the very, very basics here as we play. Um in fact, why don't we do a, a skirmish instead of doing the campaign? I've done a little bit of the campaign so far. Uh, it, it seems to get pretty difficult. If we do a skirmish instead, I think you'll get a better idea of what actually happens in the game. So we'll just add an AI. Um, level 40 is a little ridiculous. Level 10 is a little easy. Let's put them at like level 20. Maybe level 15 should be fair. Uh, and we'll just ready up. All sorts of options we can adjust here, but I'm not going to worry about those for now. I'm just going to worry about the, um, uh, the defaults. And then maybe we'll check out the tutorial afterwards. So the AI has gone first here. They've taken a shot with one of their weapons, and it should be coming down any second now. If you're wondering what that sound is, that is the uh, indicator letting you know that the turn has passed. It sounds a little bit like the pass priority uh, indicator from Magic the Gathering Online. So we're in the tank here. Every turn we've got a limited amount of fuel that we can use, and we can only traverse terrain that is relatively uh, straight, at least until we actually upgrade our tank. And, and get to higher levels of chassis, or higher levels of tracks, I think. We've got a variety of different weapons here. Uh, I'm just going to start with the splitter, which is a bad choice given this shield here and this double damage here. Uh, I'm going to start with a cactus. I'm going to try to launch this up here. You just aim with the mouse and then fire. That's not going to work at all. You really uh, do have a learning curve associated with the weapons. Some of them explode um, before they hit the target, some of them only explode when they hit the target, and they all have uh, differential effects. Like, this one is called the Tunneler, I think? And that was the most beautiful shot I've ever seen with the Tunneler in my whole life. See, we have fuel left, but we can't actually climb this wall, so let's go back. Uh, this is as far as we can go on our fuel here, so you really can't move too far on a on a level-to-level -level basis. I think what I'm going to try to do here is toss a grenade. By the way, you can see your former shot traces, which is what makes it easy-ish for you to figure out um, where to aim next time. Now, I really worry about this grenade coming back to bite me in the ass, but if I can just wedge it behind him here... Oh, no! Well, it's not going to go that far. If I could wedge it behind him here, uh, we'd be in a, a good position. You may notice that geographically speaking, it's... Oh, that's going to hurt. It's... Uh, maybe not Kobe Bryant's basketball showdown is going to completely miss me, thankfully. Um, that, that keeps changing the terrain, and the Terrain will change as the game goes on. Uh, in this case, just putting us deeper and deeper into this pit from which there is no escape. Um, but uh, you may notice that it's probably a little easier to roll a shot downhill than it is to shoot it uphill. The game is inherently uh, imbalanced. I'm going to try a cactus again. And maybe try it like this. I would have loved to have hit that double damage. Um, the game is inherently imbalanced. Sometimes your opponents are going to be on... Uh, better terrain than you are. Sometimes you'll be on better terrain than them, though, to be completely fair. Um, but the thing that's a real bummer is that you actually get persistent upgrades as you uh, level up your tank, and those are persistent into online as well. But what that means is if you're a level 1, ooh, that was pretty good. If you're a level 1 going up against a level 40 or something like that, you effectively have no chance at success. And I don't say that to be like, you know, like, you're the underdog. I mean, like, it's like you're going up against a final boss and, you know, you just got the starting equipment, basically. These are portals, which we could, if we could get ourselves in a good position, we might be able to use. But for right now, this seems pretty horrible. Um, but we know how to land a direct hit because we can see the tracer. So maybe we'll try using a twinkler here, which can do a lot of damage if it hits directly. Hopefully this will. So what? that's what I was kind of hinting at earlier on. Ooh! 30 damage is not bad. 
Um, that's what I was kind of getting at earlier on when I said if you've got friends that you can play it with on an equal playing field, uh, then I think you can have a lot of fun. I, I, I can't get out of this, man. I hope I can shoot over these rocks. Let's not burn a good uh, weapon to try it. Okay, we totally can. This is just, a shot is just like basically no damage, but 10 damage with a slight range to it is not absolutely horrible right now. Um, so yeah, what that means is that basically, uh, unless you restrict the level to make sure that you're playing against someone who is a close level to you, it's inherently going to be a little bit unfair online unless you happen to be at the same level or you agree on some other restrictions. People in chat were telling me that there were some, uh, there were some options in the settings menu, but that's kind of like a good faith thing, if that makes sense. Uh, I think if we actually shoot like the same way we've shot, this guy's not moving too much, so we should be okay. Um... You know, you have to rely on the other person to do it. So if it's a friend of yours, you probably got a good chance. But if it's a complete stranger, odds are they're probably going to press whatever advantage they can possibly hold. And I think that's kind of a weird way to handle a multiplayer game, or at least a multiplayer focus game. And if, if I'm being honest, it does kind of leave a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth. Because as a, a new player coming into the game, playing against people that had spent, you know at least 10 or 15 hours playing it, not only was I at a disadvantage in terms of skill, but I was also at a disadvantage uh, in terms of... I think this is going to hit. I was also at a disadvantage just in terms of my opponents having more HP, more armor, their guns did more damage, they had a higher crit chance, they could move further per turn, and they had better weapons, etc, etc. That being said, it sounds like I'm being very negative. I really do think that decision basically just uh, makes it so grinders get huge advantages online. Um, I still think the game is really, really good and really, really, really satisfying. And I'm playing it in spite of what I consider kind of a, a suboptimal decision there. Also, big bummer that uh, you don't get experience in skirmish mode. It's like, you already need a ton of experience to hit the next levels. The fact that they would limit it there seems a little uh, arbitrarily kind of restrictive there for me. Tell you what, let's just do like one campaign level so I can show you what's up here as well. This level is actually pretty hard, and I've, I've found most of the levels pretty hard so far, but I am still a relative novice, I guess. Uh, oftentimes you'll have a limited number of shots, so this time we only have three shots. And they're kind of like uh, execution puzzles, if that makes sense. You have to think about what you're supposed to do and then execute on that, which is a literal description of pretty much every video game in history. Um, but it's a little bit more puzzly because your resources are very limited and, you know, you also have to make sure that you're actually landing the angles properly. Um, so this time we're going to try to hit Morton first, and probably the best thing to use to hit him with is this digger. But I think in order to accomplish that, we should try to line up a shot first. And then we'll use this shot to determine where we should shoot our next shot. And hopefully he will miss us. That was basically a direct hit. <laughs> okay. So this was uh, this was our shot last time. We just put a little less gusto on it. I think we can hit him dead on. Ah, uh, it's going to miss big time, actually. You, I'm going to restart, but you can see where my strategy lied there. Let's, let's try that again. So, maybe like a little bit more... This direction, uh, a little bit less power, and we way overshot it. There is a huge element of practice that comes into this. If you're, uh, if you're say, watching this and saying, wow, NL's like really bad at this. Well, I didn't play 500 hours of pocket tanks or whatever the kids these days played in their, you know, computer classes. There we go. Destroyed him. So I'm, I'm coming from like a 1992 Scorched Earth uh, kind of era situation here. You know, have mercy. All we got to do then is hit this target, which should be relatively simple. And that will be mission accomplished. Now, for doing those missions, that's actually a pretty effective way to level up so you have a chance online. Um, although you can't do them more than once. So pretty much you're, you're stuck doing online matches. Which maybe is a little bit of a blessing in disguise because it keeps you from just grinding for experience uh, in the single player modes until you feel ready. And forces you to play um, the multiplayer modes, which are actually the most fun. You will find that a lot of people, you know, they'll have modes open that are basically like, you know, give me XP. 2.25 times XP. Um, lone XP game. Like, there's a lot of people online grinding for, for XP. 3.76 times XP, you know? To me, that seems like it's... Um, Maybe a symptom of the fact that people feel like XP is a little bit too limited. Uh, but there is a pretty robust community here. Alright, what about this? He's level 1. So, I mean, it's a little bit unfair. Um, MT Shellshock 78. I'm gonna ready up. Let's do this, man. I'm not very good. So, I, I would feel bad if we just smoked him because I do have a little bit more uh, 
experience probably and, and extra levels on top of that, but, but we'll see how this goes. So every time you get a random assortment of weapons, and these unlock as you do more and more levels. Let's start with uh, the roller. This is kind of a cool one to open the game with. Basically, you fire it, and it just rolls along the ground for a certain set of uh, tiles, basically. Okay. Yo, I better get my experience for that. Ain't nobody ripping me off experience-wise. Hell yeah, we got seven, eight experience. That's not that impressive. But, because I uh, used roller and did damage, I got experience for that weapon, which can actually level up as well. Hey, it's, it's Austin, Last Grey Wolf. What's up, dude? Say hi to YouTube. If you don't know, Austin is actually a... Uh, a streamer and YouTuber himself. Wanna play some games? This was totally unplanned, but also a convenient way to show off the level discrepancy between a level 49 and a level 9. Not just in terms of, uh, of uh, skill, but also in terms of equipment as well. Uh, so already up here. Um, sorry to interrupt, didn't know you were doing a series. Nah, it's cool. Not a series, just a let's look at. Um, you know, I'm gonna unready for a second. Just one sec. Showing off modes. Um, I guess if you join somebody's game, you interrupt the other game, which is weird. Um, so here's the modes. You got Deathmatch, uh, Rebound, Marksman, Assassin, Juggernaut, Points. Honestly, I've only played Deathmatch. I've gotten two hours out of that so far, so I think that bodes well here. Um, you can also do a team battle or a free-for-all, so if you had four people, it could be 1v1v1v1, or it could be 2v2. Team battle is also good. The teams, uh, each member of one team goes at one time. So both players on red shoot at the same time, then both players on blue shoot. Uh, here's the HP you start with. Wind, you know, you can have you know, the spectrum from none to high. Shot type, uh, it's relevant for team games. Friends only, no. Turn timer, shot tracer. If you turn that off, it's going to be harder. Items are on. Max level difference. I guess we could put this at, what if we put this at 10? That might actually limit him to being a little bit more close to us. Uh, we were trying to do that on the show, but uh, but uh, we, we couldn't figure out how to make it happen. And cool, let's let's do this. It's convenient that he's here, because I know that he's not going to drop uh, any like ASCII Hitlers or anything like that in chat. Okay. Um, we got 11 weapons here. A Glock. Back Roller is actually pretty good. Oh, but he starts. Okay. So I think that's a rapid fire. Some of those might hit the double damage. Oh, he critted me for 32. The crit is just a flat chance, basically. Uh, so that was a... Oh, where did that one go? Must have hit a bounce pad or something. That was nasty. Uh, I don't really love that. I kind of wish I could go back. But I'm out of fuel. Um, I think I'm going to try something. You know what? Ah, oh, I can... I had a little bit more fuel left than I thought. I don't think I can hit the back roller and get the double damage. So I think instead, maybe we'll try... Oh, this is a tough one. Let's try to rain down some guppies on him. Again, like worms, there's a learning curve associated with the weapons. It's gonna take some time to figure it out. This was a pretty horrible shot, <laughs> as you can see. I don't think I've ever landed a guppies properly, um, but I've seen it landed and it can do an awful lot of damage. Let's see what this guy's gonna muster up here. As you can see, we only have... Uh, Zero out of 40 armor. We did take some damage, though. And 72 HP. Uh, Austin has 36 armor and 100 HP. Now, I'm not insulting Austin here. I want to be clear with that. Um, but I do think it's it's just kind of silly. Let's try another Guppy's Reign here. Uh, I do think it's kind of silly to have it so that you're rewarded so much for grinding. Should you not be rewarded? Oh! Oh, we hit him for 11! Should you not be rewarded for grinding? No, that's not what I'm saying. But the way that many other multiplayer focused games, especially from a competitive standpoint, handle it is that they give you experience or they give you some kind of in-game currency and then you can unlock a variety of things that don't necessarily make it... Like, they, they, they aren't objective improvements. Instead, they just give you a choice. Oh wow, that was really good. They don't give you a choice, just they give you the, uh, the option to have different strategies, which does give you an advantage, but not an advantage in the sense that you have, like, 140 HP versus, uh, what we had, which was probably, like, uh, he might not have, he's probably started with, like, 35. So, like, 135 HP, we started with, like, 110. That's a pretty meaningful difference when, like, that's one shot of difference, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, one hit shot. You can also use Earthquake, uh, it's not very good. 
necessarily, but it does do 10 damage and level the playing field without having to aim. So it's not really going to be a huge damage dealer for you, but it can still... It's so loud! It can still kind of rock ass. You can also pick up those consumables as time goes on um, and, and get new options, but as you can see, I probably should not be next to this bounce pad at the back. There is a little bounce pad you can hit at the back to, to screw people a little bit. Um, I'm going to try a banana. The banana ejects from its peel. It's very narrow, but if it hits... Oh, it was so close! If it hits, it does 45 damage, which is pretty high. It's on the high end of things, at least for weapons that I have unlocked so far. Um, so again, it, when I was playing this on stream, I think people got the wrong idea that I didn't like it because it was inherently unbalanced online. I think that it is a decision that doesn't sit greatly with me, but at the same time, I think the game is... Okay. I think it's strong enough uh, on its own merits to... If not ignore it, like, kind of ignore it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, I think it's good, uh, we should be able to hit him with a back roller here, no problem. We could also try some sneaky shit, like we could try to hit a portal and then bounce it in there, but I don't think that's necessary. Um, I really do. I, I think it's worth overlooking kind of the warts of the online system, which are admittedly... Ooh, lucky us. Oh, and we got a coin here. You click on those and then you use those to open up... To buy stuff, but it's very expensive. It's like 150 to buy a new truck chassis or tank chassis. Um, I, yes, in spite of the fact that I, I feel like the, uh, the the online system in the game is a little bit imbalanced or a lot imbalanced, as, as the case may be, uh, I still think it's worth checking out, and especially if you can find friends that are not going to put in... Ooh, get the health, get the health. Ah! <laughs> get the health! That are not going to put in like 40 hours. Um, but before you do, you know, if you only play it together, you're gonna stay pretty balanced. Also, there's a lot of compliments that I haven't even touched on that you can touch on pretty easily here. Weapon variety is amazing. There's like 85 different weapons. Oh, that's lucky for me. Admittedly, I don't love the fact that you can't choose your loadout and it just randomizes every time, but still, the fact that there's such a huge weapon variety is awesome. Um, jeez, I don't know what to do about this one. I kind of want to stay on the other side of this hill still, so he has to hit me almost directly. I don't think a one bouncer is going to be good here. Maybe we can try a uh, a stream and just sneak it through there. It's like a water gun. Try to get some HP out of it, maybe, if we can hit the... Oh, we just missed it. I thought maybe we might be able to hit that uh, med kit. Um, yeah, huge variety of... Uh... Of weapons and if you're really looking for something cheap that can last you a long ass time you could play this grinding XP for hundreds of hours I'm sure like there's a tech tree that I'll, I'll show off uh, at some point maybe after another game uh, or so with Austin we'll see uh, that it, it's gonna take me forever to work through especially when you consider oh no don't go over the bounce wall uh, especially when you consider that there's a uh, uh, that it's going to take you longer every single level that goes on in order to actually, uh... Ooh, he got me. One more? Um, there might be, uh, there might be one more with Austin here, we'll see. We're going to level up here, and that's actually a good opportunity. Uh, we got a token which gives us a tank upgrade, we got a new weapon unlocked, a new chassis unlocked. This, look, this is the weapon grid for stuff that you unlock, and I think it's... It's not random, it's based on the level that you hit. So there's just, like, a disgusting amount of variety going on here. And, you know, it's gonna take you forever to level up your weapons. It's gonna take you forever to level up your actual tank itself. There's your global rank. It's all presented very, very nicely. This is the, uh, the tech tree, basically. Uh, so every level, you can move one space further on the board. So you can kind of strategically choose where you want to go. Chassis gives you more armor. Track gives you more, uh, a better ability to move, including move on harder terrain, I think. Allows you to climb steeper hills and move faster. Yeah, gun just does more damage. Luck gives you a higher crit chance. Uh, I think we'll take... We might as well take the higher crit chance. Because I hadn't taken it yet. And now we're out of upgrades. Um, I'll let you get a more level balanced game. It was fun. See, even Austin recognizes that he had an advantage there. That's not me being a sore loser. And I mean that sincerely. He's also a much better player. But, I feel like if you're a better player... Wouldn't you also rather start on an even playing field so that you don't have a huge advantage? Maybe that's maybe that's just me, or maybe I am being a sore loser and I'm just not cognizant of it. Um, let's try to find maybe like one one game here. Um, sure, you know what? The, where where did that go? Where did the koalas go? 
Level 3 free-for-all, 100 HP, you have been kicked by the host. I will say that that happens quite a lot. Um, what about Spoderman? Level 18? Roughly on the level. Hey. Hello. Spoderman. Let's do this. Hey, okay. I've got an opponent, and he seems to be, uh, either silent or move only. Oh, you move only for like a certain amount of time, I guess. Okay, now shoot only. Weird. Um, let's try dead weight. I have no idea what this does. Mm, maybe we'll wait on that for a second then. He seems to be either silent is what I was going to say, or really nice. I'll, I'll take either of those. So this is uh, another map that I've seen before, which is kind of annoying, but... Maybe we can get lucky and land a... Oh, we, we shoot at the same time! Oh, I see. This is simultaneous turn-based. That's cool. The default mode is not simultaneous turn-based. It is uh, turn-based. But uh, this is cool, too. This is the first time I've done this. And I really think the variety in the game is, is an enormous strength. Okay, I think if we try like that... Um, and uh, you know what? Let's try dead weight. Oh! Yo, this guy is roasting and or toasting us. I think there's basically no way I hit that times two damage here. Kind of got to swing for the fences. I'm going to try a sniper shot. What's, what's the value in a sniper shot? Well, you pretty much got to hit the enemy right on. But if you hit them right on, it does a ton of damage. Oh, that's a miss. And I'm getting twinkled to death, man. Yo, do I, I have one more sniper shot left? Okay. I'm gonna try just a little lighter. I'm ready, coach. Put me in. I gotta shoot for the fences here. We got him! It did 100 damage! Holy shit. Okay, but now we've got this thing right here. Um, this is like a bounce pad, but also a shield. But we also picked up a bunch of armor and a new weapon there. Please don't call me Big Bulger. <laughs> I love it when you call me Big Bulger. Um, I'm gonna try to shoot this over the top, but I really doubt it's gonna work. Yeah, instead I've created quite the quite the controversy for myself here. Um, I have no idea what that did. What what his attack was? It beats me completely. Okay, now we've got like another nightmare. I mean, I'll just try using. A regular bulger here? Nope. To be honest, we probably should have just tried to sneak it out instead of trying to do some fancy stuff here. Okay, this might be a little easier. We have a roller, but it's not a back roller, so... Uh, I, I sort of don't know what we're going to do about that. We could maybe land it. It doesn't have to be bang on, I guess. Let's just... Maybe we'll just go for the roller. So we know if we shoot it like that, it's going to land over there. So we mean... Need to give it a little bit more in the X direction. If this lands here and kills him, I'll consider myself very lucky. Ooh, it just overshot him. I wonder if we can get over that hill. Uh, I don't really want to get over that hill because it's going to put us super in, like, bankable range. And this, by the way, I haven't talked about my feelings on the game in a while. That's because I'm having a glorious time right now. I really do think this is one of those games where the, the strength of gameplay... Um, Ooh, oh, I missed it. Break, break, break. It didn't. <gasps> it was a direct hit, but his break was better than mine. Um. Hmm, this is a weird one. Huh. I mean, if we shoot, like, the exact same shot, it'll hit that and cause us to teleport. Assuming that... Oh, he teleported first. You sneaky dog. He got us. He got a good kill there. I can't be mad. That was a fun game. Again, for all the warts on the game, uh, it's super cheap and super fun. And if you can find a community to actually play it with um, that, that can be nice to you with respect to the level balance, I think you're going to be in a great spot. I think you could have a great time with this game and play it forever. In fact, I'm a little addicted right now. You want to do one more? Let's do one more, Spooder Man. Thank you for being in this video. And not just spamming your Twitch channel. Not that I have a problem with advertising. But, uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. Do we have a roller? We do have a roller. So it seems like it should be pretty easy to pick up double damage. 
and then land the roller on him. And that's a uh, 40 damage right there, which is pretty good. I would say that positionally, I have a pretty huge advantage to start here. But I, I have never seen an advantage in my life that I can't squander. So I think I'm going to take an airstrike here. We're just going to try to drop that in there. And an airstrike... Oh, that might be a little too hard. We'll see. An airstrike basically drops a, a, a signal grenade. Which then uh, hits the enemy and does damage. And I am almost dead. He did 60 to me. He says RIP. Well, that's a little unsporting there, Spooter Man. But, I mean, I understand your perspective. What's your HP at there? 46? It means I can't kill you with a banana. You slimy son of a gun. All right. What, a, what about a cactus? What about a cactus, my friend? We did 40 damage. Not quite enough. That being said, pretty good for experience. You got one more in you, buddy? I mean, that was a pretty quick one. Let's be realistic there. That's, uh, that was barely, uh, even, uh, got, a, got our feet wet on that one. Oh, snap. Another 100 XP is actually pretty good. Luckily, those bonuses exist, or it would take me forever here. Oh, my God. You know what? He is ready to go. Oh, my lord. Yo, slow down with the free experience here. Wouldn't want to give it all up in one one piece. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Spooter. I'll be there in a second. Um, Let's get more armor. No, we need the next level of track or gun. Let's go track. Chat was telling me track's awesome. Okay, here we go. That guy has 59 goddamn coins. I have, like, two. Hello. We are right next to one another. It's only just begun. I'm gonna snipe right in the face. I did 45 damage, he did 60. That's bad for me. What was it? Well, you think it was rapid fire? It was probably rapid fire. I got a rapid fire of my own for you, mister. I got a rapid fire of my own. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be dead right here, though. And I can only shoot now. I did 15 damage. I kind of overshot him because I was worried about hitting directly in front of myself, but whatever. You know what? He beat me fair and square. As you can see, I'm not very good. But despite not being very good, and despite having some problems with the, ga the way the game handles uh, its balancing system, uh, I, I quite like this game nonetheless. And I think once I, once I catch up to my friends, I'm going to like it even more. But, uh... For now, <laughs> WTF, RIP, GG. Just your standard online interaction. Um, for now, if you like the game, you can pick it up on Steam. It's $7 US, $7.80 or something like that. Canadian, they do sell four packs as well, which usually come, you know, three, uh, four for the price of three. And if you like the video, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.